Hello and welcome to Sleeper Jazz Guitars. I'm Brian Delaney and once again we're asking the question what exactly is a sleeper jazz guitar? Well it's one that you may not find every day out on the uh, open market. You may have to do a little searching for it. Uh, it may be a limited run guitar that you don't see every day or that they only made a few of. And that's what we've got today. Um, today we're going to talk about the Epiphone Triumph guitar. In particular, a Gibson made Epiphone Triumph. So, for those of you not familiar with the Gibson Epiphones, uh, Epiphone was acquired by Gibson in the late 50s and became Gibson's kind of under, underling line in the late 50s, early 60s through about 1970 when it became uh, an imported line for Gibson. This particular model is an Epiphone Triumph from 1965 and um, the records show that very few of these guitars were actually made and if you were to go to the Gibson catalogs and Epiphone catalogs particularly it stated that this model was available only as a special order and if you think about 1965 Big body jazz boxes weren't exactly what the kids wanted back then. Everybody wanted, you know, jangly rock and roll guitars or blues bass guitars. So this one began to fall through the cracks and was available only as a special order. So let's take a look at it from top to bottom. Up at the headstock, we've got six gold-plated Clusan Keystone tuners with the pearloid buttons. Those are stock. Epiphone Epsilon truss rod cover with a bound headstock. The very distinctive, almost tulip-like top of the headstock. A deviation on the Gibson design. The Epiphone inlay with this very odd kind of shell shield inlay. Um, it's not really defined exactly what it is. Some people call it a fat column inlay. If you flip it over, you can take a look. You can see the tuners. It's a nice mahogany neck, one piece. This is a very round C shape that's a medium depth. Feels very good. If you're a Gibson player, you'd say it's probably fairly thin in depth compared to Gibson guitars of that era. And uh, we have a rosewood fretboard, once again one of my favorite woods for a fretboard, that's bound with these very distinctive notched diamond inlays all the way up the fretboard. One of my favorite things about the Triumph of this era. You just don't see those inlays these days. So if we move on, this is a 25 and a half inch scale guitar by the way. It's got a very basic binding around the top. It's a carved spruce top and it's parallel braced. And this particular guitar has had some damage at one point. It had a crack down on this lower F hole that was repaired and I think at that point the guitar was, the top was refinished um, in a kind of a golden caramel sunburst. It's not original but still beautiful. Um, this tailpiece is unoriginal. It's a Bigsby with a Chet wire bar. Gives you some nice effects. Um, it's got an end pin jack. Let me show you the sides. It's a fairly deep guitar with maple back and sides. Traditional F holes. These nice kind of fleur-de-lis inlays on either side of the bridge foot. It has a floating Johnny Smith pickup, which would not be stock on this guitar. This guitar would have been delivered from the factory as an acoustic instrument, unless it was special ordered. So this was retrofitted with this L5 shaped Gibson knockoff guard. It's a, it's a reproduction of a Gibson L5 guard that's bound and a single volume control and everything floats off the top of the guitar to allow the sound to uh, 
resonate as much as possible for the top. So what does it sound like? Well, let's get it in tune first. Acoustically, if we turn it up a little bit as far as the volume on the magnetic Johnny Smith pickup. It's really got some power. This guitar will definitely cut through a band. find these out there. They're not easy to find, but uh, they're a very rare, very playable guitar. It's going to be a fraction of what you'd pay for a big dollar Gibson and built on the same production line as a Gibson. So keep your eyes open and you may just find a great old Epi. Until next time, this is Brian Delaney with Sleeper Jazz Guitars signing off.